Hey everybody. I am finally able to start a video series that I've been wanting to do for a while now and I want to talk about fish that I would never buy again. Now first of all let me say that just because it's a fish I would never buy again does not mean it's a bad fish. It's just one I wouldn't buy again and I've got various reasons for it. So today's fish, the one we're going to start this series off on, is this Chinese algae eater. Definitely a fish I would never buy again. And I'm going to put a little asterisk next to that because I can't say I would never buy it again. I just can't really imagine the circumstances or scenario where I would. So the reasons why I would not buy one again is because while they do a good job at cleaning algae, they have much greater dietary needs than that. And as they get older, those dietary needs go much less from an algae-based diet and much more protein-based diet. That does not mean they will become a less effective tank cleaner as they get older. This tank stays very clean as a result of this algae eater. But I still have to make sure I put food in the tank specifically for it. Um, both vegetable based food and protein based food because if not it will try to latch on to my angelfish and it tries to get their uh, eat their slime coat so it's kind of a pain in the butt I've got to pay enough attention to it that I'm making sure I'm not putting too much protein in and, and making the tank all dirty but I've got to make sure his diet stays balanced He's very large, plenty of bio load, and while it's an interesting looking fish, it's not a particularly attractive fish. It spends a lot of its time kind of hiding. I'm really surprised it's being as outgoing uh, as it has been. It's one of the reasons I've had such a difficult time getting started on this uh, video series is I never get enough of a look at the fish to make the video worthwhile. So they start out really small and within your first six months of having them they're going to be three times the size of you bought them and by the end of the first year you're going to be scratching your head with what to do with this fish because you can't believe how big it is already now if you've bought one to put in your 55 gallon tank that's not such a big deal but I often hear people get these for their 10 gallon tanks I often hear these recommended for small 10 or 20 gallon tanks for people just getting started they'll ask the pet store people you know what's a good algae eater how to keep my tank clean and so many times I hear this Chinese algae eater recommended it's just not a good fish for that if you want a good fish for that get some otocinclus or get a rubber lip pleco there are other fish that are off walks grazers you don't need to get this great big boisterous fish that's going to soon have additional dietary needs anyway and is probably going to outgrow the tank you've put it in. So there's a lot of downsides to it. Uh, the upshot of course being that it, is, it really is a fantastic tank cleaner. I can't argue with that. It does a great job of keeping this tank clean and that is exactly the kind of behavior I'm talking about. So I just put some um, shrimp in here the other day because he was really harassing the angelfish continually, not just sort of that checking it out and leaving it alone, but it was really attempting to latch on to it. Uh, doesn't happen very often, but apparently I had been getting a little bit lax on how many shrimp pellets I was putting in there, and that's all it takes. That's my warning sign. As soon as I notice that kind of behavior, it's time to make a change and do something. And again, that's just kind of a pain in the butt to have to worry about that fine balance of not overfeeding it proteins, but also preventing it from injuring my other fish because that's not good for the angelfish when it does that so I'm definitely going to be putting some more shrimp in here tonight and this just gives you a little bit of an idea of why it's just kind of an unpleasant fish it doesn't particularly look all that attractive it's boisterous it just kind of bangs its way around the tank uh, it can injure and even kill other fish if it's not fed properly Again, all in all, it's just kind of not really worth it. If you're getting it simply for an algae eating uh, or an off walks grazer, and uh, briefly I will say the difference between an algae eater and an off walks grazer is an off walks grazer is the kind of fish that most people think of as being like a sucker fish. It scrapes surfaces clean. 
the biofilm that grows on the surface is called offwax, and it's comprised of little micro crustaceans and worms and all sorts of little good stuff in there and it's a very rich uh, diet it's almost like eating a stew and it's far more than simply eating algae and that's why they need such a varied diet as you can see there's not much off walks left in this tank he's not getting any food really in the tank it does go around and scrape continuously trying to find food but the very fact that everything is so bright and shiny and clean lets you know there's not really a lot of food in there for it to be had so i'm kind of responsible for making sure its dietary needs are met it's not a fish you can just leave alone and i mean unless you've got a tank that's just got like growth all over everything and then it can do its thing but at some point it's going to get your tank clean and then you're going to have to be the one uh, that stays on top of feeding it now this holds true for any off walks grazer whether it's a uh, rubber lip or any kind of you know a Siamese algae eater any of those um, actually I don't think a Siamese algae eater is quite the same uh, but anyway any kind of uh, off box grazer is going to do that if it cleans the tank out you'll have to be the one supplying it with the food um, you know that's just the way it is and so for this fish it turns out that it's voracious I mean it's this is a 55 gallon tank and this is the only type cleaning fish I have in this tank. I don't have any otocinclus, I don't have any rubber lips, I don't have anything. And it sparkles for the most part. I do have that um, blue-green algae. You can see it real heavily on some of these leaves. It will not eat that. That is not algae. But what it does do is it scrapes everything clean that has a little bit of growth on it so if as long as that algae doesn't get too thick on something like you can see that leaf right there it's got sort of that sheet of green on it once it's like that it won't clean it anymore but if it's simply scraping its way along the leaves that are nice and green like this that cyanobacteria will never get a chance to take hold so again it's a really really good tank cleaner but it's just a really really big boisterous fish and again I can think of plenty of other fish I would rather have in this tank keeping it clean than that thing so remember if you're buying one its dietary needs will change fairly quickly you'll have to really start making sure you give it plenty of uh, vegetable material as well as protein material as it gets older and be prepared for it to get big fast you know you're, you're probably going to be looking at a four or five inch fish by the end of your first year you know as, as big around as your thumb eventually they get up to 11 inches but usually in the home aquarium they probably top out between seven and nine uh, that one back there is probably pushing eight uh, if you measure to the fork of the tail. I don't know exactly, but it's probably getting to be about 8 inches. Again, that's a hefty little bit of bio load in there. So I feel like that was kind of ambling and rambling and wandering all over the place. And, you know, I said probably more positive things about it than I said negative things. But that's kind of my point about what I was saying in the beginning of the video is just because I'd never buy it again doesn't mean it's not a good fish to have or it wouldn't serve your purposes it's just one I wouldn't buy again I just don't see any reason to get another one of these fish I'm really really tickled with how outgoing he's being tonight too at any rate I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that up I hope that wasn't too rambling I hope that helped somebody out helped you make a decision whether you want one of these or not Make sure you're subscribed. I'm going to continue talking about these videos. I'm going to do, uh, you know, videos about fish I'll never buy again uh, from time to time. So if you're subscribed, you won't miss any of those. Don't forget this one is my angelfish tank. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.